Well, folks, this is your old Hoosier Hillbilly again. And uh, as you can see, I've moved everything up towards the front that was in the back due to the lack of storage space. <laughs> My garage is full right now. And it's full of uh, several of the new interior parts that I'm going to put in here, or the recycled interior parts. But uh, as you can see, everything's been moved to the front. And we'll go in here to the closet. And I've pulled the panel off where my plumbing is at. It's kind of dark in here right now. Pulled the panel off where my plumbing comes in. That sounded good, didn't it? And uh, as you can see, everything looks to be okay in there. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm not quite convinced that I'm going to have to replace all the plumbing as uh, everything's still looking pretty good. And I got a feeling I think that the plumbing has been replaced one time or another before I got this motor home. So anyway, there's what it looks like inside the big closet. Get this panel put back up here and uh, we'll move on to the back. Uh, there, get that all closed up. Now back here I've removed all the plaid stuff. I removed the gauchos and the table, the deal that holds it down. and. As you can see, I've exposed the cover here for the where the generator goes. And back there's another little storage area. I'm not sure, sure what, for what, but I, I think that's where the batteries go. And over here is where the fresh water tank is. Now, what I'm going to do back here is put in a platform for a permanent bed. Instead of it being up this high when I got done, and that's about three feet off the floor, when I get done, it'll be about this high, which is about a foot and a half off the floor, and that uh, that helps a lot. And uh, underneath there also is my water pump for my fresh water tank. I believe it needs replaced because, well, it don't work. Um, I think that there again, that's due to somebody leaving the, the uh, lines full. Anyway, I also pulled the cover off here in the bathroom and as you can see it still has the um, well maybe got to turn the lens around or the, there are, now you can see it it's still got the original water heater in it from 1976 and well that's going to come out and I'm going to put uh, going to put in the uh, on-demand water heater. You can get the little 110 volt ones. And I'm going to put in one here for the bathroom and one for the uh, kitchen sink as well. But like I said, you can see it's still got the original one in there, the original mounts. And if you take a look here, the actually the plumbing still looks pretty good. A little dirty inside this cabinet, but you know, I don't think this cover's ever been off. Or, well, it might have been off once to fix the plumbing or replace it but it still looks okay anyway that's what it looks like in there and we'll probably have the plumbing and everything all checked out oh I'd say by the end of the week and uh, then we'll have another update kind of I'll do a video on on how I build the bed or the support for the bed because back in this area as you can see there's really nothing back here that will hold up the platform for the bed I mean I could probably use the angle iron there that was uh, in here originally to hold down the the um, gaucho couches got one on that side and got one over here on this side too so I could probably use that, and that looks like it's pretty level with that piece of, uh, of um, ply board that's going across the back here. And like I said, I could probably build from that, but there's no center section here, um, nothing to hold up the center section, so I'll have to build a framework in there too. And when I get all done, this will be a storage area from right here all the way to the back and around back around here to the front I'll put a little 
door on there so <coughs> so we can access it from here <coughs> that don't sound very good I don't have a code just got choked up a little bit but anyway I'll put a door on the front so that we have access from the front and I'm also going to put the uh, the uh, st the shocks on the bed so, so it'll raise up that way I can still have access to the water pump as well as um, as a fresh water holding tank and I gotta get the get my Coleman uh, Paul Jr. Uh, road trip grill out of the way but I that's okay I I'm running out of room there's not much room in the 26 foot motorhome it's a compact space but uh, they do they do uh, go out camping real well anyway another update will be coming up here later on thanks for watching see you bye